Hello everybody, um, thanks for being here, thanks that I, um, my English is not the best, so please uh, be patient with me. Um, today I will talk about um, the tools I use to build up a design system, I will talk about plugins uh, I use to build up a design system, about the combination of the plugins, and yeah, that's it. Uh, to my person, uh, I'm Jon Prepelu, I'm Senior Art Director at DVI, and I do YouTube, uh, I do a YouTube channel, there I show uh, sketch tricks, uh, tricks about, uh, tips and tricks about uh, sketch, yeah. Feel free to have a look there and give me a subscribe. You can also find me here on Twitter. Um, about our agency, we are a food service agency with about 700 digital experts uh, on 11 locations. At the bottom you see some uh, customers for whom I've already worked for. And yeah, if you're looking for a job, uh, feel free to have a look on our career sites. At the moment, we have 104 open vacancies. Yeah. Vacancies. Yeah, uh, the way we we do um, our design system in Sketch is the atomic design methodology. Uh, we are not designing pages. Uh, we are designing uh, systems of components. This is a quote from Stephen Hay, he's a designer and author and also a speaker. And yeah, um, Sylvia showed us before some, some great design systems. Um, if you want to have a summary of it, there's a nice page, this is called designsystemrepo.com. There is a, various, uh, a big collection of various design systems and pattern libraries. Okay, this uh, slide I will jump over. This was uh, the benefits of the design system. Uh, Sylvia told us a lot of about it, a uh, lot about it. Consistency, speed, shared vocabulary, documentation. Yeah, jump over. Then I will go to the practical. Um, I will show you some uh, pr practical <laughs> stuff here. Um, up here. Um, yeah, um, the tools um, for creating shared color styles. Uh, uh, I, I use a sketch, a sketch Styles Generator plugin. This is a great plugin uh, which allows you to generate multiple styles by just one click. And also use there the stacking function for just have the, the right order here. Uh, very important here is um, that you um, that the layer names define the name of the shared style. As you can see here on the oops. Uh, yeah. Uh, I had to wear glasses, it's a little bit uh, uh, not so easy for me to see, but okay. Um, you can see here are some uh, brand covers, yeah, and here uh, uh, the direction is color, slash, then the, then the color name, and here also uh, color, slash, and the color name, and if I want to um, create a new one, uh, just duplicate this and duplicate this too uh, bring this to order here then um, give here another color for example I prepared purple um, copy the hex code paste it here Oops. Change then here the name Oops. to purple. And what is important here is that you uh, change here the, um, the wording. 
This is color. This is. Uh, Where's the color? The diva E, magenta slash the expansion of here. Let's browse to the. Wait, uh, wait. Here, now I can see the colors. You see, this is white. Why is it white yet now? Okay, now let's show. Okay, change change this here to purple. And then what I have to do uh, by just select all of these and then go to the Styles Generator plugin or a shortcut. In my case, this is uh, this shortcut. And I say, uh, I see here, Styles were generated, five styles. And then I go to the color here and I see color and all the styles are in. So you have um, really, fa uh, really fast uh, generated uh, shared color styles. This is the way I do color styles. Then um, another uh, important thing we need in our design system is uh, to have shared text styles. For this I also uh, use Styles Generator plugin then the Anima, Anima Toolkit, then the Find and Replace uh, plugin. What does it do? The Find and Replace plugin uh, replaces uh, the text and the Rename It plugin. Rename It plugin allows you to rename the layer names. And um, maybe later, if you want to generate a typography guide, uh, you can use Automate Sketch plugin. Uh, I show it here to you how we handle. Uh, font styles. The directory is here first to give a, a directory. This is the font size uh, h1 to h5 if you want. Then the, you have a copy text or small text, button text. It yeah, depends on you how you want to handle it. Then the font type here, in this case Roboto's Lab. Then the color, the orientation and the font style. I just have to look if I have styles not uh, deleted. Okay, it's fine. What I do now is here just um, copy this one. Now I want to generate these styles in white color. Yeah, I copy this, then right paste here. Um, what I have to do now is. Um, here on the left, this is strange, a little strange because it's white displayed, displaced. Um, okay, then I uh, change here the naming from black to. Uh, why is it? Okay, should normally black, okay. Uh, select these folders. Then um, use the uh, rename it plugin. This is the code. Shit, sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Rename it plugin. So from from rename it plugin, you have also. Uh, find and replace. This is here. I show it to you. Plugins, rename it. You have rename selected layers and you have find and replace layers. And this is the thing I need here. And I find here black and rename it with white. And say rename and yes. As you can see here on the left, uh, the folder names were renamed. Then I have to do, um, then I have to select all the font styles here. Selecting all, then also go, uh, also I will change here. I don't know why it is shown in, in white here. Maybe it's a bug, but uh, it always was black. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult for me now, but uh, we will get it. Okay, you see here black. I will change it to white because later uh, the stars were uh, the stars 
these were generated has to say has ha, have to be the, the same name as the layers. So uh, also um, go to the rename it plugin and we'll uh, replace black with white. I find black and replace it then with white. Oops. White. Rename. And I see here everything is renamed. And what I will do now also is uh, re rename here black to white. And this is, uh, this is going with uh, find and replace plugin, not the rename it plugin. Uh, I will open it. You find, and I find black. This is also I've done before, and rename it here. And you see here white. One thing, okay, I have to change the color here. Yeah, I have white. And then just select all of them because uh, no style is already generated. Then go to the to the plugin, and I see uh, 48 styles were generated, and then select just one. Oops, just select, and go to my uh, text styles panel, and I can see uh, all these styles were generated in black, in center, at the orientation, left, right, white, center, left, right. And uh, you don't have to do this by, by typing every single style, so you can just prepare your, your styles and then uh, generate them. This is, uh, for me, uh, the best way to, to handle this. Um, if I have, um, this is the, the way I do it, um, um, if I don't have a responsive size, if I have a responsive uh, project, I, um, I have the, the, the naming convention a little bit different. Uh, I have the font size, then I have the viewport, um, and the viewport I do it with uh, t-shirt sizes, um, S, M and L, and S is, uh, is for uh, mobile devices, M is for tablet and then L is for desktop devices. So um, then I have uh, H1 for different uh, viewports and devices. This is, I can, yeah, I prepared it here. Uh, let's have a look if it works. Uh, select this, select this, select this and go to the uh, Starts Generator plugin again. And we'll wait, we'll wait. And I see, okay, 97 styles were generated. And then have a look. And then I have many, many text styles. I have H1, I have H1 in Robotus Lab, which I have uh, generated before. I have H1 in Viewport L, in color black, in orientation center left, in color blue, white, and so on, and M for, for, the, other, for the other viewport, and S. Yeah, that uh, speeds up time, amazing, and it's great for me. Then, um, I will jump to another uh, essential thing um, we need in our design system is uh, icons. Icons um, we use, uh, we don't uh, generate or, or create uh, every single icons uh, by, by, by ourselves. Sometimes, okay, it, 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 is, it is needed, but uh, there is a great tool called uh, Nucleo App Icon Library. It's uh, an icon organizer and an icon library uh, with about uh, 27,000 customizable icons. This is a really great uh, tool where you can... Uh, I should jump to this tool. This is here called Nucleo Icon. This is the icon uh, library. 
And I see I have uh, here materi all material icons in it with all these, uh, um, yeah, with all these uh, categories. And then I have all these nucleo icon sets. And here I can change to the sizes. 40 by 40. I can uh, I can change here the color if I want. I can do um, by one color. I can frame the, the icons. This is a really nice plugin. I can uh, add projects, select some of them icons, and download it later as uh, as SVG files. Yeah, and. Um, for generating icons, I use them there. Uh, if I need uh, this, uh, uh, if I use Nucleo, I, um, I use the Sketch Icons plugin because with the Sketch icon pl Icons plugin, I can really quick and fast uh, import these icons. Then also use Rename It plugin and uh, Symbol Instance Sheet. Symbol Instance Sheet is uh, a great plugin which uh, gives you uh, an instance page of all your symbols you have on your site. And sometimes it's also very important to have uh, the correct uh, name of the symbol because, uh, because of the handoff for your developers. Um, if you, that's one thing I, I would like to have in Sketch uh, natively that when you change a symbol to another symbol, that the naming is also be changed. Yeah? This is not done automatically. And Symbol Instance Renamer do this for you. You can do this uh, at the end. Then I show it to you how I practice this. I have here my symbols page with uh, icons I have once downloaded. Uh, now I will import some other icons, some sports icons. Therefore, I go to the plugin, um, plugin, and um, sketch icons. Then import icons, and this is really cool because um, the icons I've once uh, um, downloaded from from Nucleo are uh, were in thirty two uh, pixels. Here I can change to different sizes if I want, yeah, and and I can apply a color mask, uh, or uh, uh, I can apply from a symbol from a shared style, and then now I will apply a shared style. In my case here, I'll uh, take this uh, magenta, then go to continue, and here I will import the uh, sports icons go to select and now shut down <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs>
Okay, about what I will do here now, then a little bit arrange them, make a grid, um, and bring them up. And what you see now here uh, in my icon, I see this is uh, aufgeräumt, uh, tied it up. <laughs> And I have here my icons, and I have the transport icons I have once created in different sizes, and I have my sports icons. That's why it's very good, but okay. <laughs> you know. Then, uh, that's the way. Um, normally, uh, I have these, all these icons here on the symbols page, and uh, uh, it's difficult to, to insert uh, every every symbol by by one click click click, and that's the the tool uh, the icon uh, that's the plugin I uh, told you before. You can go here and make a new page. Uh, I call it instance sheet sheet, and then activate. Go to the plugin plugins. Uh, instance sheet and symbol instance sheet and then I get the question okay instance sheet from the current document or you can choose if you want uh, symbols from another library but I want it from from here now say so instance sheet uh, all symbols say generate and I see here I have, I have all instances from my symbols page and then uh, when I build a design, a style guide, etc., I can just um, cut it out here, go to my, um, yeah, to my site and paste it here. And yeah, I have then the sports icons, then duplicate this. and rename this with sports and so I don't will do this with the other sizes then now I will show you some some uh, other cool plugin I use um, for your digital pr product uh, you you need uh, different uh, 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 image sizes and uh, one cool uh, tool to generate image sizes also by just uh, one click yeah, is the aspect ratio plugin. Um, this um, here on the right corner I do then uh, a little um, marker for, for the developer to know okay which, which size it is and I will show it to you here how I do this here. Um, I go to the aspect, aspect ratio plugin, and you can. Uh, this is a sh shortcut. I show it to you here. Aspect ratio set aspect ratio, and then you can change by predefined ratios one by one, uh, one by one, sixteen to ten. Uh, let's take this and change the ratio. Okay, this was not so. Big change. Uh, okay, then you can. These, these are predefined, but you can uh, define it yourself. This was the second one there or up, and define it by three, two, four, for example. And you see this has changed, and this is really fast. And this is also in my grid. And then I have just to change uh, three to four, and I can upload it to Zeppelin or give a handoff to my developer. Yes, um, um, there are also uh, more a bit more uh, cool um, plugins uh, which helps you to organize your library. One is the library symbol replacer. Um, therefore, I uh, build up. Uh, I change this here. Uh, I'm, I made a library uh, with with these little symbols here, with these sports icons, and 
this is one thing if you have or if you worked in a uh, good library and, but you uh, already have old files or, uh, or files where you don't have matched your symbols with the library symbols you can here do this with, with this plugin also by just uh, one click and you have one single source of truth of your uh, of your symbols. I show it to you here. Um, I want now replace um, this is it. I want now replace these symbols with the other sim uh, with the other uh, library. Then I have to go to plugins uh, library symbol replacer, and then I have to replace symbols from a new library and then select the library from the replace symbols then choose then you have to uh, choose the library on your hard drive which you want to replace with and this is the library tips and I say open and then say to me hey I found 38 symbols to import with 70 instances Shall we go for it? I said import and then he said to me do you want to delete the 38 symbols uh, which have now uh, been replaced and uh, yes I want to I, I don't want to have this I said delete and I see I have no um, symbols on this side these are all now connected with my symbols from the library and you can see it here here these are all now library symbols used from this library yeah this is one cool thing one other cool plugin is uh, that you sometimes don't uh, work you don't you work in uh, in another file you work in a, in a file uh, but you create now a new symbol a symbol you want to have up in your existing library then I, uh, I use this plugin, this is the Move to Library plugin. Uh, this is made by Ahmed Gennady. He's, uh, he did also one talk. I'll show it to you here uh, in the quick... Oh, uh, let's, let's do out of this one uh, uh, a symbol. Uh, I make a symbol out of this. Uh, okay, call it teaser. And then let's uh, jump this one to the library and uh, and yeah, let's have a look. Plugins, then move to library, move selected symbol to library, and then I uh, have here the the selection to which one I want to move, and I want it to the library tips. Move to the library tips, and he said, yeah, wow, it's done, and I can see. Here, the teaser is now also a library symbol. And so on, what is also a, a great plugin to organize uh, or tidy up uh, a library, this is uh, the tool, the plugin called Library Symbol Replacer. I show it to you. Uh, okay, the other one is closed. I have to open it. Library tips. And as you can see, this was the symbol I've imported here, uh, I've exported here. Yeah, it's now here on this library page. And uh, I want to show you how to bring order uh, in your symbols page. This is with library symbols replacer. Um, where is it? Where is it? A uh, symbol organizer. Sorry, yeah. Configure symbol organizer, and then I have here uh, some options. Uh, I can uh, uh, choose uh, which uh, direction I want to show. I want to show here the third direction, and here I have the spacing between the the, the groups then, and. Um, here I can change the columns, and this is okay for me. And I change it here, and I see see here I've uh, 
more uh, or, um, yeah, orientation now well, because I can see, okay, I have the icons and the category in sports and I have here the different uh, sizes and so on. Yeah. Uh, libraries, uh, I show it, it's, I have to open one other file. Um, okay, jump back here. Um, one cool um, tool uh, I found uh, to where you can uh, use uh, uh, or which you can use as a component library. Normally, you can use a library just uh, with your symbols, but this tool allows you to import uh, also layers artboards and and uh, actually uh, symbols. Uh, does any anyone knows the stickers plugin? No? Is this, uh, I, I don't know why no one knows it uh, or this this is uh, this is done by, by a guy his name is uh, Roman Nurik. He works for Google uh, at in New, in New York and uh, I love this tool. I love this tool really much. Let's show it to you. Um, I created a, 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 sim, a, a wireframe kit here. This is just an UI board of. Um, this is just an UI board with all the text styles and the shared layer styles, and then I created here. Uh, yeah, your, the different patterns you need is just for. For UX needs, yeah, um, but these uh, things are only symbols, and I've uh, created uh, a little bit uh, of different components here uh, out of uh, out of the the atoms here. For example, uh, media data. I have here rich text elements. In different uh, different ways, I have here a teaser and so on. And uh, I show you the shortcut uh, to explain. Now it's it's a little bit würde zu lange dauern, aber yeah, I open now the sticker library, and this is uh, this is really great because you get here a visual feedback of all of your uh, all of your components you can see here i have uh, artboards in it i have here example templates i have here all my my header web, web variants my footer variants and uh, and so on i can browse here through all of these things and i have here a, a search function this is also really nice yeah I uh, search for buttons and I have all these buttons here or a search for for the icons uh, icons and I have all the icons and this cool thing is here uh, artboard for example just take this up this one and have a look drag it here on my side and I have here the output element and yeah or go to uh, open it again and just import this element here bring it up to the column yeah and I go back here. This is a uh, little explanation how it works. You uh, you have you have a file. You have uh, an, an metadata file where you can create sections. You can also create subsections. In my case, uh, for the buttons, uh, I, cre I created the subsection, the hero button, or the primary button, or the primary with icon button, and. This is how it works here. I have here uh, yeah, the, the metadata file and here is 
put the title and this is the output what I've seen uh, on the on the plugin when I activate it and these are my artboards uh, with the buttons in it and as you, you can see here um, these are relabeled um, layers or, or symbols you have just to, to add uh, the, the label which is also here in it as you can see buttons add buttons hero and if here at button zero and you can also do this very fast uh, with um, with the relabel uh, plugin I've shown before just uh, put all your elements you want to have there and then uh, relabel uh, by clicking the short uh, by activating the shortcut relabel uh, plugin and yeah and then just uh, name the the, the section you want to have and um, if you want to ay, ay, ay. so okay so uh, if you want to uh, everyone everybody knows runner plugin yeah okay um, this is a present for me to you. Uh, the the wireframe kit, if you want to download it, yeah, uh, feel free. The, the, the link is uh, shown on my Twitter page here. And yes, uh, it's a little bit. This this guy is such a great uh, developer, but. Uh, um, how he explained it, how to use his plugin, it's not so clear. I shown it and I was so, oh, this is amazing, I want to have this. I jumped up to my front end developers and uh, I said, hey, give me a look, how does this work with the metadata file, etc. I show here to you the uh, library. Here's the metadata file, yeah, for all. This is just um, yeah, but this is just in section. This is the section of the blocks. This is the media section. This is not so difficult. And it, my my developer showed to me yeah, you have to write this, this, this. And the 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 only thing you have to do uh, if you want to use this, I give it to you. Just uh, go to the plugins and uh, over runner, go to install. And then search for sticker, sticker, and you see here sticker, and then just install, and you you, you can use this uh, library and yeah, have fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>